guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain 2 episodes 21 and 22 of Knowing to Hear the Shelf. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 21 and 3, 2, 1, go. Well, it's complicated, you know? You mean like disappeared? Of course, she's with Madison. Okay, so actually, um, are you? Uh, yeah, he's still a dick again. He a dick again. God. So, I mean, he's still a little of a jackass dick, but then he's also still sweet, okay? So, he's a little bit of both. Best of both worlds. She's disappearing, isn't she? So it wouldn't even surprise me if by the end of this episode or 22, if her and Anthony both disappear because they've been in our world for the longest without, you know, their lifeline in a way. So, damn, that's fucked up. I really wouldn't want that to happen, even though I got like, what, not even counting these two episodes. I got two more episodes left after this, and I'm probably going to be watching them tomorrow. Um, but bro, I mean, with, with two episodes left, I mean, I really have no idea how the hell this show is going to end. I remember going into like what episode 12 or even 13, 14 and kind of like thinking, oh, I possibly know how the hell this is going to end. And now I'm like, I got no fucking clue. It's probably going to surprise the hell out of me just as much as Steins Gate did. But who knows? It might piss me off. I, I might just say like, what the fuck did I watch with this entire show? I don't really know. I'm not going to know until next week or really tomorrow for me. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited just to see how these four episodes all hold up. And if Haruka, I hate the way I said Haruka, Haruka, Katsu, and you are able to come back because I would literally hate we end the show and they're not able to come back, you know, because that would be really fucked up. I'm just saying. No, he said it was like heaven, like purgatory. I mean, because the man in the mask technically said he's you, but then at the same time, I'm like, I don't know anymore. <laughs> oh my god, you're so hard-headed. So would they see like their heart's truest desire or things that they regret? Come here, Cody. Come here. Okay.
Just for a couple minutes, and then I'll put you on the bed. No, stop. Alright, go play. I lay down. I'm gonna go talk to Hanukkah's dad. I'm sorry. Be careful. Who the hell you uh, uh, are the down? It's still so weird to see these two finally agreeing on something because <laughs> uh, the beginning of this show, these two could never fucking agree. And it's just because they both care for her so freaking much. Not only plus the fact that they're both the same damn person. Bless you. Oh, yeah. If you don't, I mean, you, you, you think you're going to have a blue? I mean, no offense, but I am. So what if her dad just tells the truth about everything? Because they're literally going to go to ask some questions, of course. Okay, and let me guess, you don't want to stop it, do you? Yeah.
children are your future. I mean, imagine if no one answered her and she went up the stairs. Oh, my God. It's like purgatory. Yeah, but you want to go there because your ish is coming back. And as Toby is saying, that is dangerous. Yeah, see, you know what? Let's just go ahead and kill Anthony. I've been saying this since episode one. That's because that's the Anthony we like knew for how many episodes of Freddy Tires? Memory is fucked up. But what if you die? Do you really care? It seems like you don't because you like, fuck it, let's go. Oh. Oh. Mimi made her cry. Well, then don't be a dick. You're still an asshole, though. I, I, I like you. Because we all know Kata's suit is the result of that. Having to deal with the fact that she's never around anymore and that you don't have anyone to talk to. My God, stomach, shut up. I know you're hungry. We're going to lot we're going to eat after I'm done watching the second episode. I know. 
Yeah. I wouldn't even be surprised if they get back together by the end of the series. I mean, And then you'll be here. But I know you still blame yourself for it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say you was easily corrupted, but oh damn. You and him. Come on, man. He fucking lying. <laughs> I mean, just like you can't tell because he ain't got no facial expressions or itch. But come on, he's lying. I don't want this. Oh, God. Ugh. I feel like you made the wrong choice. They're really going to end it like that, aren't they? I swear to God. Okay, well, we got four minutes left.
Why though? How? <laughs> you see how quick I was like, mm. oh. Uh, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, okay, hold on. You telling me Noane brought the house? He can take houses to what the fuck? No, she summoned the house. Yeah. Oh. But then, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop everything. Why would he make her summon her house? Is he going to do something to her, her friends and everyone she cares about? Because right now her mom and dad ain't at the house. Thank God. Let's just thank God for Christ for that. But it seems like he wants something to do with Atari and then her friends. Bruh, what the fuck is going on? What the hell is he about to do to these kids and these, stupid, and these people? Like, Bruh. What? I, I can't. Mm -mm. And we got one more episode before I'm done for today. But, um, I don't even know what to say about this episode. I, I will say the pacing went a little, it, it went fast, but, like, not, like, <clears throat> super fast, like, Sonic fast and ish. It was not too fast, not too slow. I enjoyed it for what it was. But I'm like, with this next episode, I feel like, is it going to give everything I was kind of questioned about it in this episode and answer the next episode? Probably not. We're going to have to give those answers in the last two episodes of this series. But I just, really, as of right now, I'm wondering why the hell he had her summon her house with her friends in there and what he's going to necessarily plan for one of I Because he's saying that she'll forget them. Are you going to erase them from existence like that? Like, I mean. No, I ain't. You got a God complex or something? I mean, like, that's the only thing I can really think about. Um. Well, damn, finally, that's something I've been wanting for like a long fucking time. Okay, now the biggest question is, who is that person that, like, okay, the characters who are, who's crying, that's got to be Haruka. I don't know, I mean, oh, God, I, I feel like there's going to be so many things answered in this next episode, possibly, maybe, I don't know. But because we're finally finally getting a future episode this could be the episode that we get to see the mo the last moments of um the haruka that possibly sacrificed herself before she died and everything i don't know or it could be just a universe where haruka is already dead and we're looking at you know the future kids of this show and seeing how they're coping without haruka because i feel like you is going to be the most depressed out of the group because he really truly cares for haruka at the end of the day but Mm, who knows? But it seems like everybody in this group, I, is me, and I don't remember the last girl's name. Um, they're all pretty gonna, pretty much gonna be beat up by this. I mean, especially when you have someone in your friend group, um, passing away at a really young age, it really hurts you. And I've been through that situation. I've met friends in high school, um, and even middle school who had to deal with that, and they didn't know how to 
um, cope with it. And that's the same thing even with a, a family member. Sometimes it takes years to get over a person's death. And sometimes, because people think, oh, you can get over it within a month. And to me, I don't think that's true. It could take maybe a couple of months to a couple of years to get over someone's death, whether it's a death of an animal, um, especially if you've grown up with that animal or animals like me with my dogs, even though I have Cody and I love him to death, but I still miss my other two dogs. It could be my grandmother with my mom and how my mom misses her every single day. Um, it could literally be anything. You never really but yeah, this is a really good episode, but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 22. Okay, episode 22 and 3, 2, 1, go. Um, the houses didn't disappear. Y'all disappeared. <laughs> Here we go again. No! Let's not say we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm here. Oh my goodness. Will you come here? Goldie! Come here. Oh, there you are. Alright. Look, you little dog. Okay, so I feel like still, as I said in episode 21 at the end, we're going to see them cry over Hadaka being dead. Why? I mean, it makes the most sense. I would have assumed that this whole episode would have immediately started in the future, and then we would have gotten to see them present day in Shangria, but because it didn't, I'm wondering when the future episode part is going to start. It can start at the halfway point. Who knows? Yeah, but there's nothing here. What can they do? I bet you know.
Exactly. Don't go the fuck out there. Yeah, but still, you don't know what's gonna happen. And the cat and dog come with you too. <laughs> So that had to be his grandmother. But then what about I or Fuji? Did they grow apart? I did, but not anymore. What the fuck? Well, damn! Of course it's not. It's horrible. Hey, my house has appeared. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> my house! <laughs> I'm like, look it. Where's my house? <laughs> It's okay. She's safe. They're both somewhat safe. <laughs> you know where they're at? I mean, yeah, and how the hell? No. Well, yeah, there it is. But how can you see it and not kind of see? That makes sense. Hmm? Is Makes you wonder why is she getting blind? Just because she's different? Mm. 
really that's all you're gonna have to say Well, at least you used to enjoy it. Well, what if she makes it her business? You're only like this. God, I mean, seriously, don't be an ass. Stop being an asshole. Uh, of course, we can say as him too. <laughs> right, I did the same thing. Like, I want him to see that what he's doing is wrong, but because he seems like he's still so... Oh, he got a gun? Knife? Knife. Easy me? No, don't be stupid, you fucking idiot! And when he stabs one of y'all, what the fuck you gonna do? Oh my god, you fucking idiot. He's gonna stab you. Kill me easily. You fucking idiot. We got him right in the fucking eye, too. He might not be able to see out of that eye. Well, yeah, it's not a fight. He won't be able to see out of that eye anymore. That's fucked up. And this is supposed to be the five years after, maybe 15? Girl. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, but how? I mean, it seems easy, but then at the same time, the people who've made this, are they really going to want you to destroy it? Are they really that willing? My answer is fuck no. Like, maybe Hanukkah's dad, yes, he'll be fine with it. But this dude right here, and then everybody else is currently in that room with him, fuck no. <laughs> well, at least you didn't throw up, right? <laughs>
So if he stands in the face of my you know, pop up. Told you. If he didn't step in the fucking way, he would have been fine. But this is like. Mm, this is a warning for him. Just stop doing what you do. Damn it, I. That's not too true. Miho's the only one who's left to get hurt. Never too late. Shoot, depressed. Easy me, don't do what I think you're gonna do with that knife. You're not gonna be able to play soccer anymore, aren't you? Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Hold on. So you're telling me it, there had to be something else with it. Want to be like that for the rest of her life, unless they give her a prostate leg. He's me, you fucking idiot. She was crying. You're not gonna. Oh my god. Don't do. No! Oh my god. They're all gonna fucking kill each other. Mm -hmm. So in the end, I jumps off the building. Miho overdoses. And Fujiwara possibly gets killed. Not that future, I'm sorry. Even after seeing all of that, me as a watcher, how the fuck can I trust for anything that he said without his fucking mouth?
No. Thank God. Holy fuck. I mean, damn. That shit. Haruka? Of course it would be you. And so that would be him using um, Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. And that's why I always say trust your motherfucking instincts because ever since last, like for me, it would be two weeks ago since I watched the episodes because I watched all four four episodes all together in one day. Um, and No Wayne and you had the conversation, and he was like, so I think he said like straight up to you, like I am you from the future, and you didn't really want to believe him. I didn't really want to believe him either, but like in the back of my mind, I was like, if he is him, then it makes so much fucking sense on why it would be him because the fact is he still feels guilty and upset and angry and hurt and depressed over the fact that Haruka, his Haruka, left her and so, I mean, left him. If this happens, oh God, then our current present you will become him no matter what and so in a way, She's got to do something to stop it. And with two episodes left, how the fuck can you do that? I mean, yeah, you could do some time travel bullshit, but I mean, ooh, this episode was a really depressing episode. I mean, oh, it ain't make me cry, but it made me feel some feels that I really didn't want to feel. I mean, it started out really happy and stuff, but seeing uh, Fujiwara Ai and Miho older and seeing what one possible future could have happened for them and that it was a sad future and that in the end they possibly all died um uh, how do I, you don't call episode 22, but I, maybe 24, yes, but not 23. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this was a really depressing episode. I was not expecting, what I was expecting was, for what it, what I thought it was going to be was it would have been like maybe still them growing up as kids. We would have saw them still as younger kids and then we would have went into the future a little bit more and then seen them as, as um, preteen, well not preteens, teenagers, young adults. On with their lives in high school and everything, and then that's when we hear we get the bad news with um, Fuji's gra uh, grandmother dying, passing away, 
um, Miho getting bullied and then I eventually having possibly the best life that she could have had and then her knowing that she has to get her leg amputated because I mean ooh, that's fucked up because Jesus Christ like this was just one sad thing after another and the fact is that it's one of many possible futures for them they have to do everything in their power and especially Haruka has to do everything in her power as well to prevent that and so I mean I, I hope and pray this show ends on a good ending because this episode literally gave me, and this is spoilers for Steins Gate, um, it's 22 beta or 22B going into Steins Gate Zero where you don't save, um, what's her face? I don't remember her name because it's been a while since I've watched Steins Gate. But if Okabe doesn't save her, he becomes hella depressed. And it goes into Science Gate Zero, where he is, like, super duper depressing. And it's it's horrible to see. And because, you know, you've seen this character all upbeat, happy, and excited to go from that to going from a very depressed and very kind of overshadowed and not really wanting to hang out with a lot of people, really except to, like, his mutual friends and everything, but not being as happy and upbeat as he was in that, it just tells you that this is a different future, and this is one of many possibilities of it, because when he was able to save her, and then you see the OVA before 22 Beta, um, they live, like, possibly a happy life together, because I don't know. I mean, the movie kind of goes a little more into it as well, um, indicating that I'm guessing they got together, and then same thing with the OVA, because they were together by the end of the OVA, but with Steins Gate Zero, um, and the way it goes, like, by the end of it and getting into that very, very last episode, I would say the first half of Science Gate Zero, Okabe is depressed as fuck. And then the second half, leading into that very last episode, he's finally himself again and he can be super duper happy. Really, it's really more in the last couple of episodes because this is a spoiler for Science Gate Zero. Um... Mayuri and my best girl, they end up going back in time together to help Okabe, but they end up being uh, lost somewhere, and he's the only one that can save them, so he goes back in time, and it's like the best fucking thing ever, and oof, you, you, I think a lot of people can see why it's one of possibly my top like 100 or whatever favorite anime is, because after watching it and finishing it, I was like, damn, this shit's really good to, like, the point where I would love to introduce it to so many people after so many people were like, get Asia, like, fucking watch this shit, and, like, so many people on Twitter and YouTube were just like, yeah, please fucking watch the show, and then I finally did, and it was, like, the best thing ever, but, I mean, th like I said, this was a very, very, like, happy slash depressing episode, and I hope we don't get that ish in the last two episodes, but now that we know that you is no rain, and there are three different versions of him our current you Kadasu, and no Wayne you i don't know how to feel about that like right? oh god that is that's your best friend technically kind of love interest like oh what what do you do to just make them happy you know i mean this is one of many possibilities one of like so many different endings about how the fuck this show is gonna end but i'm not really gonna know until i watch the last two episodes but other than that guys that was my reaction view towards episode 22 of no well not even episode 22 of episodes 21 and 22 of no way into your other self if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons, and next, I'm about to say Thursday, Tuesday for everybody else for the final two episodes. Bye, guys!